I'm sitting in my car crying right now over the loss of more lives and this is what is about to drive past me. Oh God, I'm like shook right now. Oh, there's another one. Another one coming. There's a parade of them. I'm shaking. What is What is wrong with people? <laughs> Are you serious? And uh, so he's done every single thing, including having a postmaster general who still doesn't know who dismantled those machines, who, who ordered being to picking up those 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 uh, places to mail your ballots. I mean, it just it's just is all about trying to delegitimize the effort. Madam Speaker, these are, these are incredibly difficult times right now, uh, and we'll leave it on that note. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Yeah, we'll leave us. it on the vote that you are not right on this, Wolf, and I hate to say that to uh, you. But I feel confident about it, and I feel confident about my colleagues, and I feel confidence in my chairs. And it's not about me. It's about millions of Americans who can't put food on the table, who can't pay the rent. And we represent them. And we represent them. Getting and by we represent these them. long food and lines we that we're seeing. Them. I know we you know are. Them. I'm, I'm just we saying. We represent them and we know them. As we, we say. We know them. We represent them. Don't let yes. the perfect be the enemy of the good, as they say. It is nowhere near perfect. Madam Speaker. It's always the case, but we're not even close to the good. All right, let's see what happens because every day is critically, critically important. The President of the United States is a mass murderer. The President of the United States is, for all intents and purposes, a terrorist. He has, in the six long years since his declaration of candidacy, accomplished more material, more practical, more long lasting damage to this country and what it stands for than Osama bin Laden and Al Qaeda and ISIS and all the rest could ever have dreamed of combined. We ain't the same on the game. Hey, Donald Trump is your president, and if you like it or not, keep the energy you had with Barack. Cause you know this Trump train don't stop. Tell Beto to please come try to take my. I'm naked. I'm like naked. There isn't a man behind me. These are my hands. And these two men, well dressed, leaned up and hugged one another and kissed one another. And I'm getting out of the car at the light and I turn to my dad. My dad looked at me and said, Joey, it's simple. They love each other. Since you became a legal adult, have you ever made unwanted requests for sexual favors or committed any verbal or physical harassment or assault of a sexual nature? No, Senator Hirono. Have you ever faced discipline or entered into a settlement related to this kind of conduct? No, Senator. There is no conscience. There is no soul. There is no brain, as you and I understand the term. There is only self-interest. There is a being that because it has not died, may well believe it will never die. Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. I have to I'm speaking. Up. Mr. Yes. Vice President, I'm Please. speaking. Please. I'm speaking. Okay. Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. Well, <laughs> I'm speaking. If you don't mind letting me finish, we can Please. then have a conversation, okay? He interrupted me, and I'd like to just finish. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to. I will not sit here and be lectured by the Vice President. I'm naked. I am completely butt ass naked. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Ruffalo, um, put your clothes on. Biden is still talking to the audience. This thing's been over for 10 minutes. He's just taking question after question after question and talking to these guys, even though it's not being broadcast. He's just doing it to do it. Amazing. Just amazing. 86,000 Americans, our neighbors, our friends, our loved ones, will die needlessly because that creature in drug-fueled denial cannot bring himself to think of others for even one moment. There are 86,000 Americans living right now whom he will kill. And millions more who will be at risk, at risk for this creature's ego but because protecting them worked against his con man's pitch, against his desire to convince the maggots that he is infallible, against his existential need to hurt others, he would not do what was necessary to fight this pandemic. The naked ballot. Naked ballots. <gasps> and you don't want to have one of those. Number three, mail your ballot in as soon as you can. Don't sit on them. Get those things out ASAP. Like now.
and now with a judge who puts misogyny and religion before the laws of our country. He has betrayed our country and betrays it today. Trump is a traitor. You know what everyone is talking about? They are outraged about what's happening tomorrow night. Uh, the dueling town halls. Yes! Why on earth would NBC agree to do that? This is an outright embarrassing ratings ploy on behalf of NBC. And I am shocked and surprised that they would allow the President of the United States to do their programming and manipulate them into doing it. You as bad as everybody else is that NBC is doing a town hall with President Trump tomorrow <laughs> instead of the debate at the same time that Vice President Biden's going to be on ABC? Uh, I'm not touching that. <laughs> 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 we are no longer the dominant life form on this planet. Earth is now ruled by a virus. And America is now ruled by a madman. Spare me the thoughts and prayers. I have Did had the name. Yes. Did they, yeah, but let me finish if you don't mind. Oh, I'm so Did sorry. They... Well, Donald Trump has decided to have a town hall, but at the exact same time, so you can only watch one or the other. There's only one reason for this. There's only one reason why Donald Trump wants to do this. It's so that he can brag that he got better ratings than Joe Biden, which to be clear, doesn't matter. This isn't how votes happen. But if we did want to prevent Donald Trump from having even this very small win, we could all watch the Joe Biden town hall on every device we own simultaneously, every phone, television, and computer. Trump is not the worst president in the history of the United States of America. Trump is the worst person in the history of the United States of America. We have so many people who can't see a fat man standing beside a thin one without coming to the conclusion the fat man got that way by taking advantage of the thin one. Mr. President, in talking about the continuing recession tonight, you have blamed mistakes of the past, and you blame the Congress. Does any of the blame belong to you? Yes, because for many years I was a Democrat. <laughs> but does any of